Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I think I said in the last video that it would probably be a stream today. That was a lie. There's no stream. Uh, something, some, something's, something has come up. Don't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You don't need to know. But uh, stream tomorrow, stream tomorrow, absolutely for sure, definitely gonna happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's play the game. Let's let's start slicing. Let's start dicing. We're gonna do another hard mode run. Currently on a sick, nasty two win streak. We can hopefully keep that up. I'm feeling a force team. I feel like we can play force here for this first one. And, uh, I don't love the curses. I think the best one here is Monster Rights 2. But honestly, Monster Rights 2 can be very scary. Um, so let's see what our options... You know what? I'm down to go Mountain again. I'm down to go Mountain again. I think... I think was it... Was it three runs ago we played Mountain? I forget, I forget when I last played Mountain, but it wasn't too bad. Again, you know, we make it out of the early game. We don't have to fight thorns, and we're, we'll be perfectly fine. That's the plan here. Let's see it. Ooh, and it's a house cat run. It's man, can I be honest? I feel like bottom poison five with house cat is really interesting because we're just sort of just saying fuck the house cat, and we have cultists too, so we can just we can cut the like I, dude, I want to play bottom poison five and just say goodbye house cat. Yeah, I think we do that. We can't take expensive spells. Odd single use is kind of is kind of scary sometimes too. I I'm just gonna go bottom poison five and the house cat, you know, shall be forsaken. Um, I, I think I think this will work. I think this will honestly ultimately be a good plan for us. Now, cleanse shield here not that good because it's not even close to saving house cat here. We should probably keep rolling this. I'll take these as well. Wait, hold on a second. There's no. Why is there no game audio? I just realized that now, actually. There's no... I, I'm looking at OBS right now. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. I, I, the the mic was picking up that whole time, but there was no actual music or game audio. Eh, whatever. I'm glad I noticed it now and not, you know, at the end. That would have been very unfortunate. Um. Okay. Uh. Initiate, you kind of do suck ass here, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna do this again. This feels like a kind of a, a cool strategy, maybe. I don't know. But um, bottom bottom poison five plus house cat should be pretty interesting. We are gonna be sacrificing that cat a lot. <laughs> you know, I'll just settle on this. Honestly, this I think this should be enough stuff here. Uh, hit this. Hit hit you. Okay, yeah, we have way more than. Enough for lethal here. We'll just take that. Glacia versus Guardian. I do hate Initiate. I'm down with Glacia here. We can take Glacia as like our general support uh, blue. And then we can have our whoever the cultist replace, it gets replaced by as our overall DPS blue. And that should be a pretty good strategy, I think, here. Hopefully. So, the house cat is going to be literally in the vortex forever here. I see no way the house cat ever escapes this. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Um, so let's do this here. Maybe we can do, yeah, something like this up here to kill the bee. And then we just, like, I don't know. Kill you. Kill you. Pass the turn. Should be pretty good from this position. We're pretty close to lethal here, I think, right? We can probably do a little bit better on the cultist, hopefully, or not. Okay, or not. <laughs> or not, I suppose. Well, I guess we can cut first. Oh, we just have lethal anyway. Okay, cool. That gets us there. Uh, I'll take compass. Could be fun at some point. Does nothing currently. May at some point be useful. Uh, I'm liking most of what I'm looking at here, so that's pretty good. We can do better on the Squire, I think, though. Or not. Okay, that's fine. And we need to kill some things. Uh, You and you. Okay, we can do that. We can do that pretty easily. Kill you. Kill you. And then probably just cut on the Glacier here. Uh, what we should do actually here as well. 
put these here first. I think that's technically a little bit better. And... Yeah, that looks pretty good. House Cat is... <laughs> House Cat's gonna have 20 deaths. Which is maybe the mo I mean, you know. It's gonna be funny. Although I guess there, there may be some combats we win on round one. That is possible. We shouldn't, we shouldn't use, it's not a foregone conclusion yet that he's gonna die every single combat. He may at some point live a fight. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, Pilgrim versus Warden here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting stuff to look at. I think that Pilgrim obviously makes more sense with Cultists with the Pain sides, right? The self shields end up being pretty powerful. And the stuns are pretty good too. I think we take Pilgrim. I think Warden's pretty good. I think I think Pilgrim will be a little bit better, at least short term. And probably pretty close long term as well. So I think I like that here quite a bit. Okay. So we can do this and stun your ass. And then probably just burst here. Goodbye, house cat. <laughs> I'm never gonna get sick of killing his ass. It's just it's just so mana efficient. How do you how do you not do it? I think we actually maybe go for uh one of the sucks here instead. Okay, well honestly we can just do this. Uh we'll do a cut here and then the bramble runs away, which is pretty good. Boyo looks pretty good as well here. Uh, we can slap this on Glacier for a two damage side, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cleave Shield's pretty good this round. I'll take the shield here too, I think. And then can I get like a big shield? Oh, we definitely can get a big mana side here. You'd love to see it. Uh, we'll put these here. I guess we just chill on the blind. Prevents a lot of damage coming in. I like that quite a bit. And I like these quite a bit again. So they're doing the same amount of damage. It doesn't matter who we stun, but we should stun the ogre because we're going to be hitting the ogre, which means we're going to be losing... Uh... Or we're going to be killing the ogre here, actually. Shit. Yeah, whatever. I guess we should, we, we could go back and stun the blind, but I don't, we, we can, as you can see, we can actually just end the turn here and still win the combat, so it's fine. Was not super important. I mean, on a double blue team, I feel like Cleric's a pretty solid pickup for us. I don't hate Sparky on this team. Sparky is pretty decent, but I think Cleric is like a, a big upgrade to Alloy and just one of the best characters we can see here. So I like that quite a bit. Um, These are fine. That all looks pretty good to me here. We, if we rolled for the, the cleanse side here, we could get close to maybe saving the house cat, but it's not happening. And it's not even worth going for, for being real about it. The effort is just not worth it. So I like bursting the snake here because it, it prevents one poison being applied to cleric here, which looks pretty good to me. And I'll definitely take these. Glacia has been weakened. We can do this to get rid of the weaken. Um, I guess we put this here. Oh no, we put this. We put this down here, and we just we just double burst the snake. And all we have to do is kill a quartz now. I I think this is going to be a fun run. Maybe I'm just I'm just crazy, which is not true. I don't think, but I think this is going to be pretty cool. We also just have lethal here, so we can wrap this one up real quick. I, know, I feel like this is a good way of mitigating the uh, issues of bottom five poison. It's just having a character that you just do not care about at all there. Uh, Siphon makes a lot of sense to me with Glacier right now. I, I've played this before. It's pretty good. Um, although I guess it goes on Cultus here first. That is just the, the no-brainer currently. Right? It is just like a, a, a bigger boost. Although, we do need to be careful about the five damage or the five mana pain side on Cultus with only having five HP, right? 
But this should be a good, and this will be eventually good here too, right? We eventually do this, and this is a pretty good character as well. So, for now, this goes here. And yeah. Um, definitely take this, definitely take this, definitely take this. Looking for one of those big mana sides, game. Big mana? No? Okay, we're just just roll the the drain three times in a row. That, that's cool. I'm okay with this. This does not upset me in the slightest. Um, can we save you? No. We can save... No, we can't. We can't. We can, we can never save Housecat, I'm pretty sure, with this team right now. It's just not happening. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Put these here. Cut the house cat. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Cleric, can you not, please? Okay. Pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up, but okay. Uh, man, how do we how do we do this? You're hitting your the the slay's the one killing me here. We have to chill. We should cut this top goblin as well. And next turn we should be able to get two damage on this slate here, hopefully. Hopefully, maybe, probably. Okay, that is enough damage. Because I think we just do this burst into cut here. There you go. Hmm. Genuinely tough question. I think we do it. I think I think the, the foil's fine. But I think it's worth getting rid of for a random tier three. Okay. Uh. <laughs> We're putting this on a character who, by the way, dies <laughs> immediately <laughs> upon being used. This is not actually that good of a, of a line here. Um, like they, this, there's no way to actually leverage that growth because the cat, the cat dies <laughs> right away. That's not that useful. This is kind of interesting because the shield, the mana shield sides are pretty cool. This has single use. It, this is this is genuinely worth. You know, I want to play with it once to see how it feels. Let's see what. Let's see how this rocks. Um, I like Caldera here. I think Caldera should be pretty good. I think, I think we have enough mana. We don't need the seer uh, foretelling. Then we can just play Caldera and be pretty happy about this. That's a little bit spooky now. You know what? Actually, this looks pretty decent to me too. I think I kind of like. Uh. Yeah, this. I think this is right. I think giving the pain to the character with nine HP is better than having the pain on the six HP character, right? And I think the the attack growths are better than the mana gain growths. And it's it's single uses here. These getting decayed is a little unfortunate, but like whatever. I think we'll be okay. Okay, house got getting just absolutely pounded here. We, we can death defy how can house cat survive around if we death defy him interesting question very interesting okay or can, can I, I mean can it survive a combat obviously you can survive a round duh yeah. definitely put this up here um I think we're supposed to just burst you and pass probably Okay, how, Pilgrim, how many times can you roll Death, Death Defy in a row here? I mean, I'm not going to actually go for this. That would be stupid. Um, Let's see. Oh, no, let's actually burst first. Kill the Slime Queen. I mean, the, the stun. I mean, we should try to roll the Death Defy on the stun here. Or on the pilgrim here, I should say. There's like no, it, genuinely no harm, no foul there, right? Um. Is this? Hold on a second. One, two, three. No, we're not at half health. We need to hit you at least one more time. Okay, so this was correct. I wanted to see if we can maybe, I don't know, get the cruel hit there and then damp like hit you with a burst and then scald this turn. Not gonna happen. I know it's sad. Now that we don't have cultists, we have no way of, of leveraging the cat's life in our to our advantage. 
We have to, uh... Oh, I should have rolled this, actually, again. Hold on. There we go. Uh, but there's no way to leverage the cat's life to our advantage by cutting it. Tragic. Um... Put this here. Maybe, like, chill into Scald, probably. We can stun your ass. That looks pretty good. Okay. A lot of damage output once again. I'll take the... the, the uh, yeah, I'll take the two, the two mana side there. That's fine. You roll a little bit better here, probably. I'll just settle on the thing on this turn. Uh... Double Scald? Or we can't even double Scald. We can go single Scald into killing one of these Slimers. That looks fine. Okay, we're pulling through here on this one. I'm, I'm like, I'm liking this team. But what would be the worst boss for us to see here? I'm trying to think right now. Maybe Wendigo, because we would really have trouble killing the Thorns. It would be pretty tough for us. Um, I don't know. Goodbye to all three of you. Uh, Cart is so funny. Cart is so funny because we've just, we've once again leveraged the house cat even more now. The house cat is tanking our curse, right? Is now holding this cart for us too. Uh, <laughs> that's so hilarious to me. I don't know. I like this guy. Let's see. You know what's interesting? I just realized now, maybe putting the manure and the scythe under the same character is interesting because we... These grow, which is good, and then these shrink, which is also kind of good. <laughs> right, this is net even with the pain no matter what we do, and these are, you know, good. But, like, I don't know. It's interesting. I think I, I kind of want to keep playing it this way, but I think it's interesting to keep in mind that maybe the, the decay should be here. I don't know. Anyway. I'll take pretty much all of these. Uh, we get double burst quartz here. Oh my god. Both of the snipers are eliminate shotting the house cat. <laughs> it's the most killed cat to ever exist, man. He's he's gonna die 20 times. Okay. Goodbye. No, absolutely not re-rolling the house cat. Fuck fuck no. No chance in hell. I like Keeper here. I'll miss Cleric, but I don't really want Artificer on this team. Cleric's a, or Keeper's a pretty good character in general. So pretty happy about that. Okay. I think I get a, a, a damage side here on uh, Caldera. A mana gain damage side. Okay, well, you know what? Fine. Really gonna twist my arm on this one here, game. Uh... We're about to make a lot of fuckers, huh? So you can chill one of the graves, hit you for three, pass turn. This is a little bit spooky. This is a little bit spooky here right now, I must say. Okay, this isn't too bad though, I think. Um, one, one, two. You're getting targeted once. You're getting targeted once, twice. Okay. So I think we put the block on Pilgrim here. Death Defy, you. Can we do like some crazy scalding stuff here, maybe? I'm thinking about that. Like, Scald kills this grave up here. If we do, actually, if we do this, it kills both of them, I think, right? Yeah, that, that's a. Oh my, and it killed the, the, the big slimy, too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. I think we're going to pull through on this one. It was a little bit dubious for a second there, but I think we've made it. Um. Just pass turn. Just pass turn, that's fine. Would need a shield here from either of these jabronis. 
That is not enough of a shield. Let's try again. Okay, so never mind. I guess I guess actually Glacier does not get to use their three mana side here. That is tragic. Um Okay. It's time we wrap this up, people. Let's get it let's get this shit on the road here. Okay. That'll work. Glyph of Purity versus Decree. I finally really understand what Decree does now, by the way. I get it. The idea of this item is that you're supposed to put a a really high pip value item with like maybe potentially bad uh bad sides onto a a good uh side and then it maintains that good side but takes the high pip value so for example something like tower shield like dogma tower shield is like is how this item is supposed to work because then it keeps the original side there but it gets the pips of uh tower shield right that's that's the premise of this item so i get it now that being said the glyph of purity with keeper is, is fantastic so we're definitely taking this here that's just kind of a no-brainer right now like shield five cleanse steel is just incredible um, so very happy to have that right now. I'll take this. You know, we can, we can save the house cat, but at this point we need to, I, I want to see that number be 20 by the end of this. So kind of has to, unfortunately be how this shit goes down. Um, Can't scald you guys. I guess go defensive here. Put this on like pilgrim. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. Oh my god, he he is just crushing it. Uh. Put this like here. This and this skull looks pretty good. We just, you're already stunned, but like, just so you know, we really hate your ass. There we go. Okay. It is Wendigo. I did say I was a bit afraid of seeing Wendigo here. Uh, but Pilgrim is honestly not that, like, is an okay character to have be, uh, possessed here. That's not too scary. I don't want to give you rats. No, thank you. Not loving that. Um, Warlock seems like a pretty easy choice here. I don't hate Valkyrie. Valkyrie is definitely not bad here, but Warlock is just like, oh, we're mountain, we're we're double blue, like, we're gonna fucking blaze when to go, like, turn one and win this fight, I'm pretty sure, or, or come very close to it. So I like that. I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. That's a little bit sketchy. Don't love that. It's probably good. It's probably good enough. Getting plus one on the pain sides with the added with the, the penalty of uh, bloodlust also being here shouldn't be too bad. We have we have ways to compensate for the pain pretty well. So I'm not too worried there. I think that'll be fine. Maybe this can stay on Caldera. Okay. Goodbye, house cat once again. Oh my god, dude, you're hitting the house cat? Really? You're hitting the house cat. That's so tragic. We can potentially save house cat here, but it's actually funny that like it is just probably getting killed no matter what we do. I need to look for repels so I can kill the thorns more than anything here. I'll take bloodlust this turn. That's not too shabby. Okay. Uh, We can kill Wendigo turn one here, actually. We can do this. Blaze. Guess we should do this. Oh, you're, you're possessed. Sorry. Of course, of course. Um... Goodbye, house cat. Did I have more rolls there? I could have probably rolled for house cat to do something actually useful there. That's my bad. Um, I'll take this just to be safe. I'll take this to. If we do this, something that matters too much. Um, you run away at this point, right, Thorn? Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Ocular amulet versus urn. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I don't think ocular is that great for us here. It's fine. 
Doesn't do anything super incredible. I think I just go for maybe a random tier 6 here instead. Jump. Huh. It is interesting. It is definitely interesting. I think that it makes sense on Keeper here. Because I think getting these Repel is, is worth losing that side for. That doesn't happen too often, but I think this is actually a good use case for it. There's also this... Not this, hold on, sorry. This. Adding Bloodlust to the Pain Size is kind of interesting as well, but I, I genuinely think this is probably a better line for us. But it is it is definitely... I think I think we don't need to lose a Bloodlust side to get these two Bloodlusts. I think it's fine the way it is. Anyway. Demon can always be a little tricky. Luckily, we have uh, <laughs> rolled the God Keeper. So I'm actually not that worried here. Okay, so all targeting. There is, I believe Caldera is being targeted by both Warchief and Ogre, right? So if we do this into this into this. I know that the correct line here is to kill the Ogre this turn. And you know what? Housecat House Cat deserves to live a, a long and full life here. Let, let's bring him back. Let's bring him back to the land of the living. He's finally out of the 13 long turn vortex. And uh, yeah. Uh, I think Paladin's fine here. I think Paladin is definitely a pretty good character for our team right now. Uh, Gas is not terrible. Don't get me wrong. But I think Paladin is just pretty solid here. Uh, and we can do better than gas on this team. Also, we have this as an option now, too, which is not nothing. We can put the three healed shields cleanses as well. I, th I think this is still just way better. I think that's still a pretty sick line for us. We could do the inverse. We could do this, actually, which is kind of cool, too. But why is it not working? Wait, am I... Oh, I'm, uh, no, yeah, why... Sh Oh, heal and shield is not a keyword. Oh, okay. I was like, why is heal not getting added to the shield? Not a keyword. There you go. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, I, for I forgot that we have... Uh, that we have three item slots. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It means nothing currently, but maybe at some point it'll be, it'll be cool. Anyway. We can do it. We can we can actually save House Cat. I can't believe it. He's alive. He's actually real and he's actually alive. It's incredible. Um Well I wanted to get a a uh like any mana side here so we could heal onto the warlock. It's whatever that we don't get it. It's not a big deal. And I, and I know that, for the record, the correct line there was almost certainly letting the house cat die still, but I feel like we're in a very strong position. And I feel like it's funnier to do things like this. And you know, if, if, if you know, if you don't like that, then that's honestly, you're allowed to not like that. It is pretty stupid. It is pretty dumb. I don't disagree with the sentiment there at the very least. Okay, we need to do... Which one are you? Okay, that's that one. Okay, so we do this first. We have nine mana left. We're supposed to just scald you guys into oblivion here. That looks pretty good. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, Caldera's dying. We can do something like this here. Nope, sorry. Tried to burst here. Okay. Pretty pretty strong pretty strong build here. Insidious whispers. All heroes add enduring and evil to the left side. Uh no. Just just fuck no. No. 
Absolutely not. Decline. I don't. I don't want the whispers at all. It doesn't seem very good at all for us right now. Okay. A uh, charge link has to be incredible here. Manure. Goodbye. Charge link. Hello. Welcome to the squad. This will be just so unbelievably strong here. Um. Well, manure here. No. Honestly, no. Not really. No, thank you. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Manure can go on Keeper. This actually makes sense now. I like that quite a bit. And you know what, Paladin? You're, you, you can have a compass. Good luck. <laughs> hey, Keeper. Keep my cat alive. Thank you. I should go for a heal shield, actually, on Paladin this turn, probably. I don't love the swipe here. There we go. Okay. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. So we can do this here. This actually here looks pretty good. We can go like this. Maybe like, like this, maybe. I don't know. Blaze your ass. Oh, you know what? Oh, man, maybe I should have gone for the swipe. Because if, if we had swipe here, we could then we could then scald the, the sniper. Who's, who's killing? So you're killing the warlock back here. I'm not realizing. Okay. Just play it like this. I don't know. There's maybe a slightly. Oh, you know what? Hold on, actually. Can we just get lethal this turn if we, like, put the repel on, like, optimal shield targets here, right? We can do. This is pretty solid. No, okay. No, no, no. We'll just win it next turn. This is fine. It's boring, but it's fine. Uh... Oh, we can't do that either. Shoot. What's the actual best line here? Is it just this into Scald? Yeah, it's probably just that, huh? One more Scald? That looks pretty good. Okay. We'll settle on that. There might be, like, a, a tiny little bit of a better line there somewhere in the mix. I don't want to find it, though. We'll just we'll take what we can get here and run. There we go. Okay, Cat is finally thriving. Finally surviving here. I think Wizard's a pretty good pickup for us with the, uh, the charge link here. I think that makes a lot of sense. It'll do some pretty good stuff, I imagine. So we'll take that. Oh, you know what we could do, actually? Oh, shit. We can get a charged wand hit. That seems actually crazy. Okay. I am really liking how this team looks right now. This, I don't want to say it's a guaranteed dub here, but it feels pretty much pretty locked up right now. Um, Let's keep rolling here for a second. I'll take this. I think Housecat dies this turn, unfortunately. Unless we get the cleanse on Paladin. Yep, no cleanse here. Okay. Hit you. You can inspire for a little bit of extra mana there. But uh, yeah, Housecat House Cat dead as shit, unfortunately. We can put a blaze off on, on Troll King here. But uh... Yeah, it, it's Jover for these guys this turn. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take pretty much all of these here. Uh, kill you. Guess we just do this to kill the... the oh, wait, hold on. Was just getting shot. Okay. Play it that way. Hey, cool. Good team. House Cat's back in the fucking uh, kill zone, but I don't think this would be a huge issue. Scorpion Tail on... on Paladin is not very good here. A uh, Deadly Bolt's probably okay. 
We're a blue team. It's a little not um, super over like, like amazing here, but we should be able to cast enough spells to make this worthwhile. Oh, well, Cat does not survive Chomp this combat, I don't believe. That's going to be a little annoying, too. Okay. Keep roll looking for one of those charge sides. We get it. Oh, we get it big time. Okay. Put this, like, here. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't hate that. Uh, we... Man. Okay, I think what we do is we inspire here. And blaze like that. And just pass turn, I guess. And we let the wizard do what the wizard does best here, basically. We do need some heals, though, from the other characters, I think. Or shields, or something. Let's see. No, House Castle dies here. Yeah. Oh, well. No biggie. Uh, I, th I honestly, genuinely... I, I made this mistake last time. There's a very good chance that the correct thing for us to do here is just to not take anything. We have such a solid team here. I feel like this wins pretty much no matter what happens. One damage focus with some pretty weird sides here. Yeah, I'm just going to skip. I don't want to risk a random messing up this team comp. It's just a little too sick if you ask me. I think sometimes you have to realize, like, oh, you have actually one of the coolest teams I've ever seen. Let's not fuck this up, right? I think that's what I'm trying to learn right now here. So let's actually learn a lesson for once in my life. Um, I like that quite a bit. Get rid of the poison. You can do... It's actually funny. I think we do this to break the uh, the armor thingies. I think that is actually a better line for us here. Uh, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. This is good. this is a pretty scary combat for us, though. I must say, There's a lot that can go wrong here. Uh, I would like some mana on Warlock this turn, ideally. That is some mana. I think we do this into this, like so. Yeah, that's right. My house cat just did 20 damage. What of it? Uh, Angel Feather. Uh, <laughs> better than the Manure, probably. I think I'll be taking that here. The Helmet Power, definitely not bad, but like... Right now, this is just like... Oh, hey, real quick, by the way. You get a free rescue on House Cat turn one, even if no one's targeting it. So that's already pretty cool. Assuming we can roll the side, obviously. But you get you, we'll, we'll roll it. We'll roll it for sure. But that's really cool. Although, actually, maybe maybe now we're not getting a rescue. It's just too much damage coming in. Shit. Um, I'll take the cleave side here. If we get another big wand combo here, it could be pretty good for us. Okay, we do get the rescue there. That's pretty neat. Uh, technically this is extra mana. And uh, this team is just so strong. The hand, I ha I don't think we can lose to the hand unless we get really unlucky with the rolls here. Okay, let's see what both these fuckers do. Uh, pretty bad sides. The spell is 5 damage, cleave for 5. Not a good character. Terrible sides here as well. 5 mana, 4 damage, mana gain. That's obviously pretty good. Right, once you hit 5 mana, you just, you know... It's, it's, it's effectively actually 1 mana, 4 damage, which is pretty good. It's very good. Um, and if you can make them vulnerable, obviously it's an infinite damage thing, whatever. But these both suck compared to our current characters. Our current team is just better than this, so. I once again be skipping. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO here. We have some issues. We have some issues at hand here. Let's look at things for a moment. Huh. 
Okay, so here's here's the general plan here, I think. I want to reroll on Keeper, because we don't actually... Warlock's going to die this turn, obviously, no matter what, because the hand is doing the hand thing, right? But if we kill the Saber, we can boost onto Wizard, and Wizard lives, right? So that's very good. I think we keep these, and I think we roll for uh, either a Heal Shield for the Keeper itself or a Cleanse for the Cat, right? I think those are the... We'll keep this, obviously, too. And we're looking for, eh. That's fine enough here. I would love, I would love the rescue here. To keep House Cat alive. Okay, that's very good news. Um. That's like extremely good. I think we technically want to do this as well first. We do this. Put this on the wizard. Although it is, a, I will say it's a little scary to put the boost on wizard here. Because, in theory, if the hand rolls, kill yourself again, wizard dies. But this is just too much value to give up on, I feel like. We should be able to make something happen this next turn. Rescue. Oh, this does this does actually hit the warlock, or the hand, I mean, which is interesting. Okay. Let's get off one more blaze here before you drop. I We win this. I'm not that happy. I mean... Yeah, we win this. Okay. We're fine. We are okay. We win these. Rescue here. Hit you for a trillion. 26 mana, by the way. Why are you... You're, you're steel-sided. Oh my god, you're steel-sided. That's so funny. Okay, yep. Uh, Good game. Just an insane, insanely strong team. The hand... I, I didn't think about the hand just, you know, rolling uh, die twice in a row that could have maybe been bad for us but like that team was just so ridiculous wizard's so cool i love wizard <laughs> wizard's so sick and you know what shout out to the compass compass was what really made that pop so we can put charge link on the the boost side that was pretty cool <laughs> house cat you know you you did house cat did its job fantastically right we said we said house cat you are you are you are dying for our sins today and he did it Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I see you for the next video. Uh, goodbye.